hey guys so today's tutorial i'm going to be sharing with you how i edit my makeup pictures pictures of the jobs i have done that i post on instagram pictures that give me crazy engagement i'm going to show you showing you how i achieve the professional editing feel from using beauty plus and snapseed okay it's going to blow your mind so i need you to relax and learn okay give the video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't because you don't want to miss any of this tea i'm spilling okay so if you want to see how i edit my makeup pictures exclusively for you like i'm going to be spilling all the tea you need to keep on watching hey loves and welcome back to my channel my name is orezia grefa and if this is your first time here you are most definitely welcome on this channel i share makeup tutorials tips and tricks to help you as a beginner become a pro okay so if this sounds like something you're interested in definitely hit on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell beside the subscribe button to be notified whenever i upload a new content okay you don't want to miss out so subscribe now so for this tutorial this was actually highly requested by the way if you are not following me on instagram follow me now at already touch okay so you will not miss out on any update because when i'm not here i'm there always on instagram to accept your questions and anything you might want to share with me okay so if you compare my videos and my pictures you will notice that there's not so much difference okay because i like to retain the details of my job so i take a little and add a little okay so don't worry sit back relax and learn okay don't forget to subscribe don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and ask your questions in the comment section if you are confused about any of the steps okay so hey guys if you have not downloaded the app so go to your play store for android user or your apple store for ios user okay to download both apps that's beauty plus and snapseed okay so this is just a, a, a quick disclaimer this edit the edit and the percentage i use for editing these pictures are relative to the picture involved for instance if the person has more spots more acne and you know all that stuff i increase the percentage okay don't worry in a bit you understand what i'm talking about so yes this is um, this is me opening the app okay beauty plus so this is what you will see when you open the app then you select your picture okay so i'm just going to select my picture now so the first thing i do is move to edit okay then i blow out i select blow but let me just explain something this mark is for before and after while this other place is for manual so the a is for automatic and the hand icon is for manual okay so i always leave it at automatic so it does everything automatically for me then i select the percentage i want to use and the percentage i always use is from 30 to 50 okay you get that okay so um i'm just trying to find the balance because i'm trying to blow out the background to make the image the center of the picture like i want every other thing to be silent why she she's more pronounced okay in the picture this will, this is the first step to get like the professional camera fee then i move to crop here simply what i do is that i work with the grid and i just try to make sure that she is in the middle like i centralize the image for her to be in the middle that's what i'm doing right now with the grid the grid always helps to make sure the image is in the middle okay so guys while editing your brightness should be at 100 percent very very important so we both done this is before and this is after before and after so the next thing i go to is retouch i use smoothening um because her face is already clear i did not want to use much so i'm going to reduce the smoothening a bit okay to at least 30 or lesser than 30 so 30 to 50 is what i recommend you can go lesser depending on the image you're working on okay so um i finally decided to stop at 30 because i know to take out the dewiness the picture has so yeah from there i move over to acne so like i said automatically i just press on on and any spot any pimple is gone mm? then if you want to switch to mana you have to like pick out the spots yourself that is just the difference so the next thing i go to is nose contour you can see the difference okay that's all i do um contour i don't like too much contour because i feel it's already contoured so i'm going to reduce it to keep it all natural to make it the same see truthfully if you go above 50 it's going to look fake so you can try it 
when you are doing us the next thing i'm going to is under eyes dark circles all those wrinkles under the eyes all those but she didn't have it so i just had to like cancel then this is to brighten inside the eyes to make it more white and i'm just going to leave it there another good feature is makeup so you have lipstick eyebrow eyeshadow blush hair dye just play around with it i rarely use this um this part of it the only thing i make use of it is blush but i'm still going to show you guys what it looks like so so there's eyeshadow um you can select the one you want then i move over to blush then select the one you want me personally i make use of the blush so i'm just going to show you the percentage any percentage depending on the picture you just select then move over to hair dye you can play around choose the one you want to you want to use if you don't want any you can just go and select one then if you want to change your lipstick color it has like priority so you can go ahead to select the one you want so that's all and I just went ahead to Steve. Now I'm moving over to Snapseed and I want to use an acne prone picture like you see her pimples, they are so visible, to, they are so visible. So that's the picture I'm going to choose right now. I already favorited it so I'll just go and select it and um, show you guys how I use Snapseed. Okay, so the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to edit it like i'm using only snapseed to edit this picture you'll see the difference between snapseed and beauty plus so i'll just crop that's the first thing i do just to crop it to make sure i centralize the image so when i'm done cropping i move over to healing so i go to healing for healing i you have to zoom in zoom in to the last as that zoom in as, as as much as possible then that is when you can start healing like don't heal from a distance it's just going to like spoil ruin things i'm telling you you can try and see the difference so you have to like zoom in to see the pimple very well then you can heal you can swipe like i'm doing right now and you can as well like just touch on the pimple and it's just going to heal like that so that's what i did all over her face where the pimples appeared where the acne appeared where i see anything that i don't want on her face i just went around healing so you have to zoom in zoom out look at it then come back again then heal like that so that was what i did a tool in beauty plus that is similar to healing is acne but the difference is that acne would um would not take out all the pimples the way snapseed would so most times when when i when the face is acne prone i just come back to snapseed to heal then i take the picture back to beauty plus for the smoothening and the rest the contour nose contour because um snapseed doesn't have nose contour it doesn't have provision for nose contour it, um, but snaps it has provision for smoothening but i prefer the smoothening of um beauty plus anyways guys just play around and know what works for you know what you like okay that's the essence of this video anyway i'll just show you the best features i think are good that you can use that i always use that are also good for you to use so yeah i'm done with the healing quickly i'm just going to show you the before and after healing so before and after so before after so the next thing i use is portrait it has face spotlight um, i'm just going to reduce it a bit because it's too much it's going to like make the picture really look bright so i'm really going to reduce it and i stop that then then um the next thing under the same portrait you will see skin smoothing and that is what i do you just have to touch on that bar and it will show you the options so skin smooth skin smoothing i leave at 30 then the last one uh, will be the eye clarity the eye clarity makes the eyeshadow the eyes anything around the eyes pop out more like it gives details to whatever is placed on the eyes the eyeball and you know those stuff anything around the eyes 
okay so the only thing that snapseed doesn't have is the blur ability the ability to blur i just needed to make this very clear so you blur from beauty plus then you can bring it to snapseed what i'm just trying to say is that you can use both apps interchangeably okay and yes very important tune image when you tune image there are a lot brightness contrast saturation ambience all those things but i always go to the warmth because most of when you are done editing it takes away the warmth so i like to give the picture back the warmth so that's what i'm doing i'll stop at five most times i go to 10 but i don't exceed 15. i don't exceed 15 if not you'll be see the picture looking red <laughs> So tracks are possible to use from 5 to 15, except you just want to look red, okay? So for this picture, I stopped at 5. It was perfect for me at 5. Um, then ambience. Ambience ambience is for the background. Um, just to, but if you if you make use of like if you exit 5, it's going to like ruin the image. You can try it and see what it will look like. So having done everything we have done, I'm just going to quickly show you this is what it looks like after and this is what it looks before, after, before. Okay, so you see the huge difference. So I use the brush tool. You have like, you can move it from 5 to 10 to eraser, just depending on what you want, the effect you want. So I always stop at 10. So I'm just going to touch on the highest point of my face, this place I highlighted, that's what I'm going to focus on. In a bit, you'll be seeing the before and after, so you'll notice the difference. So yeah, this is what it looks before, and this is the after effect. So before and after. So yes, that is all I do on Snapseed, then I go ahead to save, and I use the save a copy not save alone because if you should use save alone it's going to modify the picture and your original picture is gone so that is how i achieve the flawless and professional feel to my pictures by using snapseed and beauty plus beauty plus majorly then snapseed okay so tag me to your recreations tag me to your pictures you get to edit okay i want to see them all and don't forget you can ask your questions ask your questions in the comment section and i will reply in case you're confused about anything i said just ask your questions okay don't forget beginner makeup class series is already is ongoing like all the basic process of makeup um eyeshadow application foundation application lipstick app application all this tutorial i'm breaking them down in bits so that as a beginner you can understand this is something you need to invite your friends to watch and so that you guys can learn and slay together okay so um thanks so much for your love thanks for your support please don't leave yet see other tutorials yes and subscribe share with your friends okay i love you i love you i love you too okay so don't leave yet see other tutorials